Okay, my name is Alex Foss. Uh, I work for the University of St Andrews and uh, here at ISGC 2010 I've been giving a social simulation tutorial uh, together with uh, colleagues Andy Turner from Leeds and Rob Proctor from the Manchester E Research Centre. Um, social simulation is a relatively new uh, method in the social sciences, although relatively simple uh, models have been used as far back as the 1970s uh, when Schelling was using a simple model involving coins on a chessboard to demonstrate uh, segregation uh, in society. So he was putting these coins down to represent uh, different types of people and with a simple rule that people would tolerate each other but not, would not want to live in a minority in their neighborhood um, but would rather move to another random location of the chessboard uh, he demonstrated that uh, as a result of this you get segregated societies. Now with the uh, availability of uh, much greater compute power uh, and much greater access to uh, real world data such as census data or data from surveys, um, we can build much more sophisticated models about real populations. Um, so really the business of agent-based modeling is moving from something that is used conceptually or used in the computer sciences to something that is available for social scientists to study real-world populations. As part of um, the EU Asia Grid project, um, we are working with people here at the Academia Sinica Center for Grid Computing uh, and the Academia Sinica Center for Survey Research uh, to develop uh, models for Taiwan. Now these might be models at the country level, uh, to study issues such as migration or they might be models at a more local level to study um, transport and, and commuting. So we need to uh, gain access to data sets that allow us to study these phenomena and bring different kinds of data sets together to build a model population and then project this forward to see, you know, for example, what the traffic is going to be like in Taipei in 2030.